Now, I was reading that Cambridge study and, and it took a look at those severe COVID cases and it showed that it may cause cognitive impairment equivalent to aging 20 years. That is awfully scary for all of us, recognizing that when we looked at the patients who in fact had the severe COVID and then the downstream cognitive impairment, for the very, very most part, none of them were vaccinated. So say what you say about the vaccines, oh, they're not working or this or that, but the answer is they are really, really helping to prevent those long-term complications from COVID. And that's actually a place that we want to be at. Yes, you don't want someone to get a respiratory illness, but for sure, I don't want them to get long haul COVID. Now with so many people vaccinated and, and so many others having had COVID once, twice, some people I know actually have had it three times. Three why have we not reached herd immunity? So herd immunity implies that you get an illness just once and you never relapse or get it again and that the vaccine prevents that exact illness. So there's no variants or subvariants, and the vaccine works equally well in everyone. That's not true on the vaccine side, and it's certainly not true on the virus side. Some viruses like hepatitis A never change. That virus that we saw 20 years ago and 10 years ago, it's kind of the exact same virus we see now. And the vaccine is wonderfully, wonderfully effective in that 98% range. So if you're vaccinated, you're not going to ever see it. And if you had hepatitis A, you're never getting it again. That's not true with COVID at all. So the idea that we were going to reach herd immunity, that was just a, a hope in the beginning of the pandemic and we, sh we shouldn't be hoping for that anymore because this is just changing too much. Correct, it was certainly a hope in the beginning before we understood how much COVID changes over time. All right.